Welcome back. Now we're looking at the third alternative, which is to use a rear window defogger repair kit. And uh, this is a Permatex one. Uh, the one that I had before was a Loctite, but it's been sitting in my toolbox for several years and it looked like it had gone bad. So I bought this new one and again the price was $13 and uh, here's the results. And the really nice thing about this kit is you get basically a ready to apply bottle of solution which is essentially a uh, silver, a powdered silver inside a solution and they've they've dyed it so that it, it appears coppery. It's just artificial coloring. And then here are the pads. And look at that. It comes with its own little brush. And just for the sake of making sure that um, you know, I, I didn't want to make it, I wanted to be able to evaluate just the the kit itself. I, I didn't use a fancy brush or anything like that. I just used the one included in the kit. And the application was pretty straightforward. The, this is three coats worth. And uh, as you can see, it gives the pads a, a sort of a coppery color. Uh, but it, it, uh, I just basically went along, did one coat, waited a little bit, did another coat, did a third coat, and I was able to thin the brush, the solution out using IPA, the isopropyl alcohol. So the brush is okay for the next time I want to do this. And as you can see, I've got a lot of this fluid left. So um, this is probably the most cost effective and it was the fastest solution as well. And here of course is the board. This is the board from uh, Poly 6 Keybed number 3, which would be the one I, I pulled from Gamma. So uh, here we go. Um, I think that this is actually the winner of the shootout in terms of ease and in terms of cost. So we'll just ensure when we do some testing that uh, it actually works fine for what it does and I think we've got ourselves the solution that I recommend to anybody who wants to repair uh, a keypad that has intermittent pads. So moving on.